Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fruity Mars channel. Yeah! Today's video is quite special because we are going to talk about FM, which is also my logo. So for the first time ever, we're doing actual FM stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so I've been working on my new Silent One bank for a while, uh, which is going to be called the sound of Silent. And I really want to include some cool sounds. I actually want every sound to be special in a way, instead of filling it up, you know. Um, so this is going to be a really great bank, but it takes a lot of more time uh, because of that. Now, so I was trying to get some kind of e-piano Yamaha DX7 sound in the, in the bank. And yeah, for as far as I know, that's uh, FM synth. So what, what does FM mean? Obviously, it's Fruity Masters. <laughs> now, FM stands for Frequency Modulation. And then you also have AM, which is Amplitude Modulation. So yeah, let's show you uh, an example of FM, because FM does some really strange things. Because it's not entirely just Frequency Modulation. If you go into Silent, for example, and you throw on the pitch, LFO, doesn't matter what. Yeah, that's that's FM, right? That's frequency modulation. But FM does work a bit differently. Now, first let's show you in Serum, because that actually has an actual FM feature. Now, let's uh, find the sine wave, and let's make it an actual sine wave by removing all the overtones. Now it's a sine wave. Now let's grab a second one. Just look on the top right here. That's not a clean sine wave. Now it is. All right, we have our bass sine wave right here. And right here you can modulate it with oscillator B. So you can click on the tab and select FM from B. Um, now, nothing much happens. We first have to enable the second oscillator. And let's disable the volume let's let's lower down the level so we just hear the first one getting modulated and i'm guessing this one is some kind of gain or mix knob so let's throw that to 50 percent right so that's where it gets started the fm stuff so it's no longer a sine wave it's uh something else let's measure this let's grab an oscilloscope right here see that's not really a sine wave. I think this is a way to get that piano-like sound, or, I don't know, organ-like sound. Yeah, way better than a sine wave. <laughs> so, yeah, that's cool. You can also modulate this. When you change it, uh, the sound changes entirely. Let's grab a simple chord. Yeah. Now let's throw this one back in to give it more lows. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it might be fun to make the stereo sound. Yeah, so that's a really easy, fast way to do that FM stuff with Serum. But this is a Silent One tutorial. I figured out some kind of trick, I think. Uh, it might not be new, but yeah, who cares? Now, so in Silent One, there's no, not really an option for FM stuff because in Serum, what it actually does, it's really nice that I've just deleted it, of course. But yeah, so here was the first sine wave, and here was the second sine wave. Um, the second one is an oscillator, so it goes with your keys. When you grab a high key, it grabs a high frequency. When you grab a low key, it grabs a low frequency. Now LFOs. They are basically fixed. Uh, you set the speed and that's what the LFO does. Yeah, first let's go back to Serum. Let's show you something else I uh, wanted to explain before we continue. Yeah, so let's do this again. FM from BRM remodulation. Cool. I should do more with Serum. Now don't mistake me, Siren 1 is a really awesome synth, but yeah, you, it's a fact you can do much more stuff in Serum, yeah. So there we have the sound again. Now to figure out what oscillator B is doing to A, let's just lower it down in pitch. You see? It's an LFO on the pitch. So, yeah, but yeah, now it's an LFO again. But when we grab a high note, it goes faster. 
All right. But when in silent, when we go down with the notes, when we grab low key or high key, it has the same frequency, of course, because why would it change? This is one, a solid oscillator, solid state oscillator, uh, SSO. <laughs> it should be an SSO instead of an LFO because it doesn't make, really, it doesn't really make much sense because you can set a low frequency oscillator to a high frequency. So then it's a HFO. Yeah, just make it SSO, okay? <laughs> solid state oscillator. Now, to make uh, the frequency go with, uh, with your keys, this is basically where the trick starts. Now, first let's go, um, let's make sure we have a really high frequency. And now you can actually hear it starts to crap things up. Sounds like those Cybermen from Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah. Now, if we try to play something now. Oh, let's grab a chord. <laughs> that's that's useless. So, yeah, to make this go even faster, click on free. Uh, this is, however, a nice way to do a doorbell sound, I think. Never mind. So now let's go to the misc thing. We should do more with that because it's fun. Uh, this is basically like in Serum over here, the modulation matrix. Well, it sort of is a similar thing in Silent. Um, this is like an extra modulation matrix because the other stuff is all over the place. Now uh, let's go to uh, Key Track. Now Key Track is awesome. Um, if you want to know what it does, <laughs> it tracks your keys. Then set the range to maximum and send it to... Uh, I made a mistake earlier, I cut it out the edit hopefully. Um, not to the pitch but to the LFO1 rate. So this is before. Yeah, not very useful. And if we throw it all the way up. Hoppa! There we have it. It's an FM sound. And it's usable. Now I'm not entirely sure if, um, if it still matches because it might uh, be detuned now. If we go to Serum, silence should be the same key. Oh wow, okay. Oh, that's lucky. Now let's try that doorbell again. Yeah, okay. Not bad. So this is this is quite a cool sound. It does however do some strange things when you um, go polyphony when you hit multiple keys at the same time. Let's try a chord now. So first let's go slowly. Now let's grab the entire chord. Yeah, it um, doesn't always match. So yeah, that's the thing, but uh, the sound works. Okay, so let's try to mess around a bit. Um, if you, however, touch any of those knobs, the rate, the gain, the offset, this one, the range here, the range here, it will go off key. I think it's not off key right now because the values are quite normal. Um, let's go down with the gain. It sounds like a bit crush sound. Now it doesn't match anymore. Let's throw Serum a bit up. Now to match that again, this is where the tricky part starts. It would be really fun to... Can we do that? LFO gain. Yeah, let's do some uh, envelope with the LFO one gain. Okay, this is fun. Yay! Yeah, now it's... Alright, it should be somewhere around 8. 
in this case yeah this is just messing around this is really tricky because if it's detuned you would say hey let's let's fine tune it or let's fix this but then the um yeah the fm stuff starts messing up so you have to correct this part with another knob it's it's really tricky now let's make it sound nice uh like some kind of piano Okay, let's throw in the chorus, always works. Uh, let's go over the way. Alright, EQ, yeah, won't do that much. Um, delay. A little bit of delay just to make it sound a bit better. Yeah, the compression will uh, pull that up. Something like this, reverb maybe, dampening, compression, now we can we can do an, a normal elbow, giving it a bit of vibrato, um, yeah, oh, let's go, pitch AB, let's go to 1.8, Yeah, this is tricky, um, but yeah, this is one way of, um, well, this is a way to get FM uh, frequency modulation synthesis in Silent One by throwing basically a key track on the LFO one rate. Um, yeah, so that's all. Now, let's, let's try a bit more. Let's combine it with another sine wave, make it lower. Yeah, it's not bad. Now let's load one of my uh, own presets. Uh, I made this one very 80s. Ah, yeah, this is an FM sound I made. Let's first go to the ARP because this one is quite cool. Yeah, and the cool thing is, this is a sine wave. This is a sine wave, and it sounds like some kind of filtered saw, right? So, what does the mod wheel do? Yeah, those are really fun presets. Now let's um, grab this one, the very 80s. So this is the, basically the fine-tuned version of what we just made. Yeah, I'm playing with one second delay and I can't even play keyboard, so yeah, forgive my demos here. <laughs> now, let's make this sound a bit better by throwing it into the mixer. Because it's fun on all those internal presets, but this one needs a bit of more work. Let's throw on the Valhalla, uh, really fast, something like this. Maybe another chorus, um, fancy one. Juno chorus, maybe before the reverb, yeah. Um, let's compress it a little. A little, <laughs> yeah. Screw it, whatever works. How does this sound? So yeah, just saying, this ain't bad for a single sine wave. <laughs> yeah, so that's, yeah, uh, that's a way to do FM synthesis in Silent One by using the key track all the way up LFO 102 rate and not sure if this is necessary but I think so and then just twisting those knobs yeah that's all it's tricky uh, make sure to drown it in reverb and chorus stuff because those are really hard tanny sounding sounds sometimes but yeah 
Now, really quick, one more preset in my bank. Has nothing to do with FM stuff, but uh, oh, this one is cool. Uh, <laughs> Venice, okay, nice. Um, it's a pad. I'm not sure if I showed this before. It's uh, one of the first presets I did. Um, let's sort it on name. Pad. I think it's this one. It's really, really strong. <laughs> Just saying, this bank is going to be good. Good stuff. Great stuff. See you again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and eat and drink. <laughs>